Hi all, welcome back to my channel, Science Tutorials. In this video, I have been posting the basics of a very important topic for placements in engineering data, data structures. In the video series, I have already dealt with arrays, lists, singly linked lists, doubly linked lists, circular linked lists, and a little bit of stack and its implementation in the previous video. So today, we will see about stack and its applications. So to get more updates of the videos that I be, I'll be posting, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon. So without much ado, let's see what are expressions. Expression is a combination of operators and operands. Operators such as the plus operator, minus, multiplication, division operators. Operands such as A, B, C, D, etc. Combination of these two will make an expression. A simple example would be A plus B. Now there are three types of expressions, namely infix, postfix and prefix. Infix. The form would be operand 1, operator, operand 2. Example, A plus B. We'll take this simple example of A plus B and convert it into infix, postfix and prefix to know the difference. Postfix will be of the form operand 1, operand 2 and then the operator. Operator would be at the last. So it would be A, B plus. Prefix. Operator, operand 1, operand 2. The operator would be prefixed as the name suggests. So plus a, b. So now you know what is expression and what are the three types of expressions. So now let's see the applications of stack. Expression handling. The first application is expression handling. That is conversion from infix to postfix. Conver conversion from infix to prefix. Evaluation of postfix expression. Backtracking procedure. This would be used in Enquin's problem and Night 2 problem. Enquin's problem, I will be showing it to you in the other series where we deal with algorithms. Then balancing of symbols. So now let's see the first application that is infix to postfix conversion. The steps that would be involved in infix to postfix conversion is Input character. If the input character has a left parenthesis as shown here, then the action we will be taking will be pushed into stack. In this conversion, we would be requiring three things. That is the symbol, stack and the postfix expression. Okay. So now, the, if the input character is a left parenthesis symbol, then the action will be pushed to stack. If it is an operand, what is an operand? Such as these, A, B, C, D. If it is that, then op the action would be add to the postfix expression, the third column. Operator. If the input character is an operator, then the action you would be taking is check whether the stack is empty. Now, after checking whether the stack is empty, and if the stack is empty, you push the operator into stack. If the stack is not empty, you would be checking the priority of the operators. That is the input operator and the operator which is already present in the stack. So if the input operator's priority is greater than the operator at stack, that is if input operator has more priority than the operator in stack, then push operation will be performed and the operator will be, the input operator will be pushed into stack. Or else if the input operator's priority is less than or the same as the operator at stack, then you would be performing the pop operation on the operator from stack and add that popped operator into the postfix expression. Next, if the input character is a right parenthesis, that is the symbol, then the action that you would be performing is pop all operators from stack until you get the left parenthesis and add them all to the postfix expression. After reading input and reaching to the end, Pop all the elements and add to postfix expression. I will be solving a problem regarding this. So you will be understanding the concept better. But let's go through the steps once again. Input character. If the input character is left parenthesis, push to stack. If the operand, if it's an operand, add to postfix expression. If it is an operator, then check whether the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, push the operator into stack. Else, if the stack is not empty, then check the priority of the operator. If the input operator's priority is more than the operator at stack, then push operation will be performed. If the input operator's priority is less than the or equal to the operator at stack, that is the priority, 
then pop operator pop the operator from stack and add to postfix expression a right parenthesis if the input character is a right parenthesis then pop all the operators from stack until you find the left parenthesis and add them to postfix expression after reading the input and reaching the end pop all the elements and add to postfix expression now i had said about the priority when you uh, oh, when you see input character as an operator at that time you you should know you should be knowing the priority of operators highest would be for the exponential operator the next will be for the multiplication and division operators and the lowest priority will be for addition and subtraction operator now let's see an example to understand the concept i have mentioned the priorities over here again so highest is the exponential operator then comes multiplication and division and then the lowest is addition and subtraction so consider this operation uh, expression which is this expression it is this is an infix operation expression consider this a plus b by c into d plus e minus f okay so now first we have symbol stack and the postfix expression first symbol would be this the left parenthesis so you push it into the stack next is a a is an operand so put it into postfix expression next you have next you have a plus operator so you push it into stack and the next is b what is b b is an operand b is an operand so you push it into the postfix expression or you add it into the postfix expression next so a plus b is done now we go to the division operator and you push it into stack next you get c c is an operand hence you will be pushing or adding it to postfix expression a b and c next is the multiplication operator but in case if you see multiplication operator the uh, the operator that is in the stack and the input operator has the same priority in that case you will have to pop the element or the element from the stack and add it to the postfix expression so it would be a b this would be popped a b c and then this left parenthesis plus operator then you would be pushing in the input operator to the stack next you have the left parenthesis in case of left parenthesis you would be pushing it into the stack again why did we uh, pop this element because it is of same priority oops here for the same priority okay next you have d d is an operand you add it to postfix expression a b c and d next you have addition operator so you will be pushing it into the stack next you have e right e is an operand so you add it to the postfix expression a b c d e right next what do you have next you have a closing parenthesis when you get a closing parenthesis you will have to pop the elements so you will have to pop the elements until you get the left parenthesis isn't it so now you have plus star but you have two more operators so you pop it and then add it to the postfix expression so this plus would be coming to this then you will pop this element pop this also you have only these two elements right now next you have minus operator subtraction operator yeah so when you have subtraction operator you can't place it here because you know that subtraction operator is having the lowest priority so you will pop the rest so it will be a b c division operator d e plus now you will pop this element and add it over here right you will also pop this element because plus and minus have the same priority in the priority list so you will pop this also and add it to the postfix expression left out is the left parenthesis that has no priority so you put the subtraction operator into the stack then next you have an operand f right so operand f 
you won't put it into stack but you will put it into the first fix expression so it's a b c slash d e plus star or asterisk plus and then f now the last thing is the right uh, parenthesis in case of right parenthesis what would you be doing you will pop the element that you will oh sorry uh, for right parenthesis you will pop the element that is already present in stack and add it to the postfix expression so the postfix expression will be a b c d e plus star plus f and you pop this a uh, subtraction operator and then add it to postfix expression left out is the opening or the whatever the parenthesis so you pop that also and then nothing would be present here and this is the expression the postfix expression that would be requiring thank you all see you in the next video bye bye please do subscribe to our science tutorials channel and also press the bell icon to get more instant updates immediately